Hey everybody, what's going on? You guys doing all right? Okay, I hope you're all doing very well. So today I'm just gonna have me a little snack before I work. I'm having some, probably a bowl or two of Rice Krispies and, and um, you know, that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. Just thought I'd hang out with you guys and and uh, tell you a couple stories. I know you guys like the stories. And you know what's really cool about the Rice Krispies is, um, you know, you can eat them in a bowl with milk on them, but you guys can make the uh, the Rice Krispie treats as well. So um, I made a pan of Rice Krispie treats, and and um, so that's what I'm gonna do today. Just eat some cereal and and um, munch on the Rice Krispie treats and uh, just relax for a while with you guys. Okay, so. You guys take it easy. Uh, don't worry about anything. All right, and just relax. I brought me a. You guys know when I eat cereal or or soup or something, I usually have a big giant bowl. But I wanted a smaller bowl this time because you know these Rice Krispies they make some awesome sounds. So um, especially right when the the milk first hits them. We'll do a, a couple small bowls today instead of one big one. what we're after, right? I love that sound. guys ever have these Rice Krispie treats? They're so good and they're really easy to make too. You guys, uh, see my lava lamp back there? That's an old uh, vintage 1974 lava lamp. It's, uh, it's all original too. It's the uh, um, original light bulb even so. Um, I love that lamp. My my mom had it and she gave it to me a long time ago. So I think it's really relaxing too to look at. Actually, I did a video on my old channel with just a lava lamp. Um, I think I'm going to start doing that again like maybe once a month or so. Just do a lava lamp video where it's just the, the lamp itself with me eating some different types of food. I thought that was a really cool video and I've had I've had a lot of requests to do that too so if you guys think you would enjoy that lava lamp series let me know
delicious. I love Rice Krispies. The like Lucky Charms, Apple Jacks are my favorite. Uh, Cabin Crunch, you remember that one? Peanut Butter Crunch, Boo Berry. That's one of my favorites. I love Boo Berry. But uh, yeah, Rice Krispies. It's right up there with uh, all my favorites. But the reason I like that uh, lava lamp so much is just for the sheer fact that it's old. You know, 1974, that's, what, 40-something years old. And it's, when you think about, uh, you know, old stuff, you know, for some of you, that's that's pretty old, you know. For you younger viewers out there, but when I think of old stuff, I think of stuff like from the 30s and 40s. That stuff just fascinates me. Like old uh, coins and comic books and uh, newspapers. I love reading old newspapers, like from the, the 30s and 40s, just to just to look at the advertisements. It's so cool, you know. Um, I think you get. I, I told you guys a story about my grandmother back, uh, you know, when she was younger. You know, probably 60, 70 years ago. Um, she bought a brand new coat for $5. Isn't that crazy? I like to look at the old car ads, too. back then in the, the 50s and 60s. Things were so much different back then. We definitely live in a, a computer age now with the, you know, the computers and laptops and cell phones and, you know, all the social media and that, but it's just crazy to think how, you know, how life was back then with not even, you know, a cell phone in your pocket or anything, no way of communicating with one another. Another really cool thing is, like, um, my mom, she's got a lot of old stuff. She's got uh, almost every single Elvis Presley album he ever put out. She's got them locked away in one of her closets. Those are so cool. Frank Sinatra albums. <clears throat> but she also has this little, it's a little tape recorder. Back in the uh, 60s and 70s, uh, long distance was really expensive, you know, for your your phone. And there were certain times when it was, it was fairly cheap, you know, you could call on maybe a Sunday or late at night, but for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, if you wanted to call somebody long distance, you know, say from Michigan to West Virginia or California or whatnot, you had to pay a long distance fee. Some of them were quite expensive, you know, and people couldn't afford to pay those huge bills. So in my mom's case, we would make tape recordings and we would send them back and forth from, 
you know, me and my mom and my sister to my, my aunt's family, which was all my cousins and my aunt, my uncle. We were really close. And we would just make tape recordings and send them back and forth. And we would we would always get so excited because we'd wait for the mail. And we'd, we'd get the, the tape recording in the mail and we'd run to the tape recorder and we'd play it. And it was so cool. Good old days. Isn't that crazy? You, you actually had to wait for a, a tape recording in the mail to, to talk to your loved ones. That's, uh, that's amazing. Let's see how these Rice Krispie Treats taste. I think they're probably still like fairly warm. I just made them about an hour ago. So sticky and gooey and marshmallowy. <laughs> Wow, those are good. My wife just loves these too. You know, for, you know, your birthday comes around, you might want a special cake or ice cream or something like that. For her birthday, she always asks for Rice Krispie Treats. So I always make her a pan for her birthday. Wow, those are good. Yeah, I really like those uh, uh, old movies too from like the 50s and 60s. Uh, there's this one with Steve McQueen in there. Uh, oh, The Blob. <laughs> you guys ever seen The Blob? It's uh, it's just a corny movie, but it's, it's actually really good. It's entertaining, but... Uh, the, one of the parts I like about that is they're, uh, you know, it's a bunch of teenage kids and they're looking for this blob and uh, Steve McQueen and his girlfriend, they go to, they're looking for this little dog that got lost and uh, <clears throat> they go to, they find the dog, it's at Steve McQueen's dad's uh, store, he's got a little carry out, like a, a carry out grocery store and uh on, it's so cool because on the front of the window they have the uh, advertisements on the window. Um, it's just so neat. It's uh, watermelons, four cents, uh, uh, ketchup, two for 29 cents, uh, applesauce, nine for a dollar. It's just crazy how, uh, you know, to, just to look back and see what the prices of things were. I looked it up in the uh, 1950s. It was 50 cents to go see a movie. Isn't that crazy? If I go to the movies... It has to be something that I'm really super excited to go see because it's movies are you know so expensive it's just crazy. 
you know, by the time you get your tickets and, you know, popcorn and snacks and all that, it's, it's, uh, really expensive just to go see a movie. And then if the movie's lousy, ooh, that's terrible. so sticky <laughs> that's all right though they're delicious i love those things <clears throat> all right i think that's about it um, um i did make a lava lamp video that one's coming up next after this one so um definitely if you like that style of video let me know um i had quite a few requests uh, for the lava lamp video from my those of you that remember it from my old channel so um that'll be coming up next okay so all right you guys i think that's about it for today uh, as always thanks for hanging out with me for a while i really enjoyed it it was a lot of fun i hope you enjoyed the the rice crispy sounds <laughs> um thanks for all of your awesome comments i really enjoy them it's uh still one of the best parts of my day okay so keep them coming all right, you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you next time.